Right. Bad news, Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi-kun's not there. I think he's at the break area. Thanks for making my life easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I never finished reading this. That dream was awful. I was going around killing students. I shot so many. Shall we go home today? Like Fuyusaka-san. And sorry. Yakushiji. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. But first, I'll take a peek at Amiguchi-kun. Okay, that's a little creepy. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. The break area? Yeah. Crap. I gotta get going. I should head out, too. See you, Miwa-chan. Later. Bye! I guess it's about that time. The papers. Miss Morimura forgot them again. Shiba-kun. I have to drop off these papers. Again? Jeez. Well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Just got Miyuki and Abba's new album on tape. I don't have a cassette player. Then why'd you buy it? Juro, you'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for you. Hey, watch what you're saying. We're still at school.
What's wrong? For tonight, I'm thinking Hamburg steak. Your favorite. <laughs> Knock it off. If people find out we're living together, we'll be expelled from school. Hmm, is that so? I don't mind. Well, I do mind. So please. Sorry, sorry. It's our secret, I know. I'll be a little more discreet. <sighs> Jeez. It feels awkward going home like this. I'm gonna be restless all night. We're just teenagers. We can't be living together already. <sighs> what is she thinking? Just showing up at my place and treating me like this? That's strange. The front door was unlocked. I hope there wasn't a break-in. Huh? You're... You're from my school, right? I think we're in the same... <gasps> it's been 40 years. I've missed your touch. What? Uh, hold on, back up. What are you doing in my house? I'll be renting a room starting today. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Hello there. You're joking, right? I spoke with your landlord, Tamao Karabe. She gave me this rental agreement. My grandma? I've already moved in my furniture. Jeez. I mean, yeah, there was an empty room. And she said she was planning to rent it out, but... I didn't expect it to be a girl from school. <sighs> what were you thinking, Grandma? <sighs> There's no way. I can't do this. Grandma's going to be out this whole month. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That means it's just the two of us here. If the school finds out... We're going to be expelled. Well, that wouldn't be so bad. What? Anyway, I need to get started on dinner. As thanks for letting me stay with you, I'll be taking care of your meals. I hope you like it. Hey, wait! Kurabe-kun? Huh? Miss Morimura? What's the matter? You seem deeply concerned. You forgot these again. Oh my! Sorry for the trouble. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Kurabe-kun. Well, that saves me a trip. Now, I wonder if Shiba-kun was able to find Amiguchi-kun. Shiba-kun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. Shh. 
she always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> and then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic. On top of that, he's got all the latest video game... stands a little too close to me. It's awkward. I get really self-conscious all the time. How am I supposed to interact with her? Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house and then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my own. There are drink vending machines at the break area. It's located at the corner of the schoolyard. If what Fuyusaka-san said was right... Released in 1977, this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place. Its popularity holds... In that movie, an alien's UF... So he runs away to... There's a famous scene where he tele... A sci-fi movie from 1954, the first in what would become... That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of the... What do you plan to do? Yakushiji. I've gotten permission from Morimura. I see. Even if that's the case, it isn't looking good. There's an issue with Juro's condition. We can't let it continue as is. You still plan on using him, don't you? You can't. I won't let you. <sighs> Please. Let him be free of the Sentinel. As of now, he's the only one who can fight. I can't promise anything. I recognize the position you're in. You harbor feelings for him, correct? But you must understand that he is no longer the Izumi you knew. Izumi? He is Juro Kurabe. You would do well to consider him an entirely different person. The new personality is not stable. Don't disregard the danger this may put you in. Juro will recover. I'll make sure of it. Even if we erase the personality of Juro Kurabe... What? It would be a futile effort, as I've already explained. Izumi's memory is gone. There is nothing left. You're a difficult one. This is for your own good. Just let me be. I cannot. You must return to Shikishima. And what if I say no? You're a difficult one. This is for your own good. Just let me be. I cannot. You must return to Shikishima. And what if I say no? You're a difficult one. <laughs> this is for your own good. Just let me be. I cannot. You must return to Shikishima. And what if I say no? Izumi, you're a difficult one. Haven't I heard that name before? I this think Shinonome Senpai called me that. Just let me be. Oh, I and I saw it at the nurse's office too. There you was a document labeled Juro Izumi. And what if I say no? You're a difficult one. <laughs> this is for your own good. Just let me be. <sighs> Karabe. Juro. 
How long have you been listening? <sighs> what was that about? Who is Izumi? Uh, I'll cook one of your favorite meals tonight. So please, come right home, okay? No eating out. Different person? Juro... Izumi? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And yet... Why do I have this sinking feeling? It's like... The one Yakushiji has feelings for isn't me. It's... Izumi. Bad news, Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi-kun's not there. I think he's at the break area. Thanks for making my life easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head home. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. I never finished reading this. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Do you need something? Uh, not really. Sorry. Oh. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you the okay? You seem it's more and more stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Izumi, haven't I heard that name before? I think Shinonome-senpai called me that. Oh, and I saw it at the nurse. There was a document labeled Juro Izumi. Hey, about Fuyasaka-san. I notice she always leaves during break time. Yeah. Crap. What about it? I gotta get going. I'm just wondering where she's judging from what the other girls. She runs off to the nurse's office. She's sleeping. I should head out too. What? You want See back? you, Mewacha. Later. Bye. Sorry, Sheep. I have to drop off these papers. Again? Well, just meet me at the front gate in the meantime. I
just got Miyuki and Abba's new album on tape. I don't have a cassette player. Then why'd you buy it? What's up with the yakisoba pond lately? They're always sold out. I heard there's a guy who Guess Miss Morimura's not here. Since she's not around, I'll just leave the surveys on her desk. I'm sure she'll see them when she gets back. Miss Morimura's desk. Last time I was here, I saw those creepy documents about me. Huh. They're gone. Last time, she had documents on Juro Izumi here. I guess she put them away. Shinonome, senpai. Izumi-kun? I'm so glad you're safe. I heard terrible things. So... I thought...
Senpai, my name is Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. <sighs> That's right. been given a different personality. Given? By who? The two of us lost our memories after a certain incident. We suffered serious mental trauma. Especially you. I heard that you had it worst of all. But I'm not so well off either. My memories keep disappearing. I'm not sure if I'll even remember this conversation. What was this... incident? It happened in the future. But you received medical treatment here. Back in the past. The future? No way. It's true. And you're Jiro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. Jiro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. It's so hard to believe. But if it's true, that would explain why I kept feeling like something was off. This is crazy. Honestly, it's really hard for me to believe. I don't blame you. This is crazy. Honestly, it's... I don't blame you. If that was, does that mean I This is cr honestly, it's. I don't blame you. Whoa, you're still here? Shibakun, what's up? I couldn't find Amiguchi anywhere, so I thought I'd come looking for you. That's that. Let's call it a day and go home. <sighs> well, guess that's that. Let's call it a day and go home.
freaking Amiguchi. You're not getting away from me tomorrow. Bad news, Jura. Let me guess. I mean, I think he's... Thanks for making my life easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Usami-chan! Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. The papers. This... I never finished reading this. Would you like to get crepes on our way home? Patience. I'd love I'll let to, you borrow... But... I've kind of got somewhere to be. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I have to drop up. A... Uh, we'll just meet me at the... In the meantime... Do you need something? Uh, not really. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of... I just got me UT and I was... New album on but tape. you're just fine, right? Hey! Then why'd you I'm buy worried it? about you. Iyori-chan! Oops. <laughs> Shall we go home to get... Sorry. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. But first, I'll take a peek at... Okay, that... If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machine. The break area? Yeah. Crap. I gotta get going. I should have... See you later. Bye. Something up? You're staring. Well, maybe not here. Let's go out to the hall. Karabikun, over here. What's going on, Fuyusaka-san? Well, um... You know that dream you were telling me about? The truth is, it's real. It actually happened. What do you mean? What was that dream about again? Uh, you don't remember? You just mentioned it again last week. You know, the one about the shootout? Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor. But you ended up getting shot and captured. I was the only one who managed to escape. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented, a factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. 
That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. Masterpiece. I'm not talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream either. Mm. This one. Is it real too? If the Dymo showed up in real life? I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Well, lucky you. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Huh? Dymos is the general name for them. But there are many different types. Some as big as a truck, some bigger than a whole building. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. A sci-fi movie from 19... The first in what will become... If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? It's an episodic show where the story plays out in different ways each time. In this one, an alien seeks refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. You've never seen it before? That was a real event. It took place on Sumire Bridge in the year 2089. Now that you mention it, that scene didn't look like it was shot at Sumire Bridge. I was the only one there. You never made it, Kurabe-kun. No, that's not true. I was there. You and I were transmitted together. Wait, what? UFO Wars. UFO Wars. Does that mean UFO Wars is real too? There is a UFO. It's beneath us. Oh. No way. It's just like the movie, isn't it? We're going to ride that UFO and fight off enemies. No. That's what the Sentinels are for. Sentinels? Giant robots. They were created to defeat the Kaiju. Ugh. You're so interesting, Fuyusaka-san. Don't you already know all this? You're the one who told me about it. Remember when we were cleaning up the science room? You said you saw a shootout from the future in your dreams. Cleaning up the science room? Now that I think about it... I've handed you the key. Be sure not to misplace it. Renya Goto, second year. Popular with all the ladies. <laughs> A snob. When you're done cleaning, be sure to lock up. Then return the key to Miss Morimura. Understood? Yes. Then if you'll excuse me. Sorry for the trouble. Okay, there's not much left to do. Let's get this over with. I'll wash the equipment over there. Could you put the beakers back on the shelf? Goto-senpai is so mature. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me.
I'm hungry, man. Cleaning duty sucks ass. Shibakun. Stop complaining and get to work. Did you say something? You were mumbling. Speak clearly, please. Just... It's Saturday. Kinda sucks to be doing cleaning duty. Rules are rules. Just deal with it, okay? Isn't Goto-senpai responsible? No wonder he's so popular. Are you done with the beakers? I'm getting to it. Cleaning is just so boring. Where should I put this? Beakers go in the big cabinet in the back. Guess it goes in here. This one too. That's all of them. left now is sweeping up <sighs> what is it <sighs> what's gotten into you is there something on my face <sighs> sorry I was just thinking about the woman from my dream last night I think it was you Fuyusaka san me in your dream you were dressed in all black strong commanding and honestly, pretty attractive. Uh, you're just talking about the dream, right? What happened in it? It's kind of embarrassing to talk about. The apocalypse was coming. To prevent it, we had to go back in time. And blow up some sort of facility. But that got us in some trouble. Thanks to the bombing, the cops came after us. It came down to a shootout, and the two of us got separated. Oh, so I was a criminal. Well, kind of. It was a just cause. Uh-huh. Well, that does sound exciting. I'm curious to hear how it ends. Oh, yeah? I can keep going. Were you shot? Show me. It's nothing. I had a misstep too. I failed to kill one of the researchers. The deed is done though. The entire facility's been destroyed. We did good. The interstellar development project was sent back to square one. Do you think we've changed the future? Sure hope so. If not, then we'll have killed all those innocents for nothing. I'd like to believe they haven't died in vain. <laughs> a 
patrol boat. They're on to us. I'll handle this. You go on ahead. This wasn't part of the plan. I can barely walk. So what? You want me to abandon you here? You just need to make it through today. Remember? No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. I met Natsuna-san over at the shrine. She ended up dodging my question. What was she doing there? She attends the same school as Jurokun. At least that's what he told me. Despite a catastrophic loss, Japan recovered quite well. It seems to have entered a prosperous new era. Almost too prosperous. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel, a story about trap. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. To think it ever become a reality. I checked the library for any records of such a weapon. But in all of history, nothing like it has ever existed. Not in the U.S., not anywhere. What was that thing? The kid that lived next door to us was killed in an air raid. Children in this era don't have to worry about that. The kid that lived next children in this era Nothing's changed today either. I need to figure out how to take back the Sentinel. Then I can find a way to return to 1945. Though, I can't seem to reactivate it. I've tried countless times, too. I hope I didn't break it. If there's a mechanical issue, I'd love to take a look at it. But security around the building's been tight lately. Now I can't get too close. I can't just sit here. Actually, 
That factory at the mountain pass may have survived the air raid. It might still be standing in this era. Ayame Park. This is where the factory used to be. Chihiro? Is it really you? What business do you have with my little sister? Who are you? I'm that child's older brother. Is there something you need from her? No. She just... Looks like a relative of mine. Mm. Let's get going. Shihiro. If she's still alive, she'd be over 40 by now. If she's... We don't have a family burial plot where I'd find her. I have no idea what's happened to her. She's either alive somewhere in this world, or... <sighs> Shihiro, I'm going to find my way back to you. In any case, I should go talk to Natsuno-san. She must know something.
In any case, I should go talk to Na- She must- Sakura High School. It looks nothing like the school I attended. It's still here. It's been renovated, but I do recognize this building. If this is the school building, then over there's where the potato field used to be. Looks like that plot of land got bigger. <sighs> I wonder if there's a way in. no one here. Do they not use this building? This building was brand new. Now the floorboards creak. The pillars are all scratched up. And really has been 40 years. where I waited for Takatoshi-san, and where Tamao-san came to see me off. How strange. It almost feels like it was all just a distant dream. All right, enough. This isn't the time to be getting sentimental. Megumi-san, thank you again for the bento you gave me. I found a nice spot to eat it by the Kaide River. A bento with meatballs. Quite luxurious. I was very impressed. Oh, they were just regular old meatballs. Nothing special, but I'm glad you liked it. What are you doing out here? Are you looking for someone? I'm trying to find Natsuno-san. Would you happen to know where she is? Minami-san? She should be in the track room. The athletic building's over that way. Want me to go check? No, that's okay. Oh yeah. 
So for dinner tonight, I think I'll make Hamburg steak. You seem to really like it. You mean that giant ball of meat? A hamburger meat, yeah. It's Jiro's favorite. So try not to come home too late. Those meatballs they call hamburger. I've never had anything so delicious. Enough. This is no time to be distracted by food. Natsuno-san's over there. Everyone's staring at me. I'm glad I found Natsuno-san. But I don't like all this attention.
Hey, you. You've been standing there an awfully long time. What are you doing? I'm waiting for Natsuno Minami. Minami? How do you know her? And how old are you? Looks like a middle school uniform to me. No, uh, I'm, uh... Seriously? You guys have to be so nosy? Natsuno-san. Come on, let's go. So, Minami's got a boyfriend, huh? Sorry I took a while getting changed. It's fine. I said I'd wait. So, whenever you exercise, you all change into outfits that show your legs? That's... fascinating. <laughs> anyway, you kind of showed up at school out of nowhere. Everything okay? Everything okay? Natsuno-san, I met you before, back in 1945, and now here you are. Huh? You must know something about all this, about how I ended up in this era. Please, tell me what you know. That's, uh, jeez, how do I put this? Look, I can't really talk about it here. We could go to the building I used back in my time. It seemed to be empty. The old school building? We can go in there? Yes. It was open. All right. Then we'll talk about it there. Let's go. I always thought this place would be locked up. We should be good here. Miyura-kun, can you keep a secret? Uh, of course. Okay. Then I'll tell you. Don't freak out, okay? This is BJ. He's an alien from the future. is looking for the robot he used to get here, and I'm helping him find it. A robot? Does the word Sentinel ring a bell? <laughs> that Sentinel from back in 1945 belongs to BJ's alien friend. There are a few of them, too. How does she know about the Sentinel? And did she say it was made by aliens? It's a top-secret military weapon created by Japan. I don't need to tell you this, but those babies are capable of time travel. <sighs> so, what do you think? <sighs> Pretty crazy stuff, huh? So, <sighs> pretty crazy... This... BJ. I have some questions about it. I've heard Shikishima engineers talk about something like this. Isn't this actually a type of scout unit? Shikishima? They don't dabble in alien technology. All they do is make weapons, and BJ is no weapon. But... Hikaru... Ryura. If he's just a scout unit, explain how he can talk. Don't be a jerk, Mirakun. BJ isn't some kind of robot. 
This is just a spacesuit. Aliens come in all shapes and sizes. My guess is... The only thing inside that suit is BJ's brain. <clears throat> so, you're an alien? Interesting. Why are you searching for the Sentinel? What's your objective? To uncover the truth. The truth? You wish to know where you came from. Do you not? What are you talking about? I came from 1945. Incorrect. Your log proves otherwise. My log? Yeah, show us. This log. If you really have it, I'd like to see it. Professor. I have switched over to a private channel. Professor Takamiya. Can you hear me? Is that... 
Miura Kun? Professor Takamiya. I'm connected now. Thanks, Miura Kun. What the heck? Yuki chan? Everything goes smoothly with the shuttle? I was able to secure a seat thanks to you. It'll probably be the last shuttle. This place will be lost by tomorrow, too. Has the front line advanced that much already? Afraid so. If anything, they're picking up speed. Did Natsuno get out safely? She arrived in Sector 4 about five hours ago. Ah, oh, so she's there with you. You know, you two. I never approved of your relationship. <laughs> what? Mom! There's my girl. <laughs> you know I'm only kidding. I didn't think you wanted to talk to me anymore. Of course I do. I'm sorry about all the trouble with your father. He and I haven't been on good terms since we split up. It's okay, Mom. I want to be with you. I know. Me too, Nachan. Yuki-chan's my mom? I'm sorry, Professor Takamiya. The shuttle's about to take off. All right. I'll see you at Sector 3 in 14 hours. We'll be waiting for you at Landing Zone 10. Looking forward to it. The destruction is spreading. It's only a matter of time until the surface is lost. What the heck was all that? I have to know. When was that log recorded? In the year 2188. That doesn't make sense. How is this even possible? Yuki-chan's my mom in the future?
No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. She's from 1985. She seems to know about the existence of other Sentinels. Is that how she's able to travel through time? Maybe there's another way. In any case, she appears to be a central figure in all this. Could she still be at school? Megumi-san. You know where the track room is? Yes. Oh, right. Have you seen Juro around anywhere? No. I see. Maybe he went home already. For dinner tonight, what should I make? For dinner, what should I... We could have Hamburger. Again? No, no, that's all right. I'm fine with anything. Well, let's see. We've had nothing but meat these last few days. I think I want to make some fish for Juro. Okay, I better run to the store. I'll see you later. Natsuno-san, get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes, I admit she's bright, cheerful, attractive, but right now I have more urgent matters to tend to. Natsuno-san's over there. Again. Minami isn't here today. Must have been really important. She even ditched practice. Is that so? Hey, are you Minami-san's boyfriend? How far have you two gone? What? No, you've got it all wrong. Do you happen to know where she went? All she said was that she was in a hurry. But I don't know where she went. I know where. She went over to Tokisaka Shrine. What's she doing there? Not sure. I didn't ask. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? That's where I first met her. But it was back in my own era. Amazing. The shrine's hardly changed at all. The surrounding thicket, on the other hand, that has changed considerably.
I don't see Natsuno-san anywhere. I wonder if she's hiding behind the trees again. What I'd give to see that. No luck. We couldn't find it. I wonder where it could be. Natsuno-san. Oh! Uh, what are you doing out so late? And why are you here, of all places? Natsuno-san, what was that just now? There was a big flash of light and you just... appeared. Just like when I came to this era in my Sentinel. Same flash of light and everything. I, uh... Come to think of it, this happened at the shrine back when we first met, too. There was a similar flash, almost like lightning. I get it now. You have to come here to travel through time. What do we do, BJ? Please, tell me what's going on. I just want to go home. Are you just going to leave your sentinel behind? Oh yeah, that's how you got here. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> if she's... I have no idea. She's either a lot or... I'll figure out how to deal with the Sentinel later. It's Shihiro, my little sister. If there's any chance she made it out of that hell alive, then I have to find out. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. BJ, think you can make it happen? Please. was with Natsuno Minami all this time. Are we back? Is it really that easy to travel through time? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? If we have the power to travel freely through time, can I just send the Sentinel back to before the war starts? Nope, that's impossible. We can't just jump around as far as we want. We can only travel 40 years at a time. Besides, this is as far back in the past as we can go. I see. That's unfortunate. For now, let's find Shihiro. She's most likely at an evacuation shelter. All right, let's go. If not, then I might find her at the Karabe's house. <laughs> What's going on? The place is deserted. The factory and station are both empty. Radios are down. No one's answering. Where is everyone? You see that? It's that creature. Okay, so... That thing is an alien weapon, and it's here to invade Earth. The Sentinels were created to fight them off. This is just like what happened in the city from the future. After the aliens invaded, Everyone was gone. Wait. If people are disappearing in the past, 
What's happening to everyone in my era? Tamao-san! What happened? Title signs are failing. Condition is too critical for life support. Tamao-san, where's Chihiro? Chihiro, John, is... Please calm down, Miss Morimura. Uh! Chihiro-chan! Where do you plan on taking her? Uh! I apologize for what I've done to you. But you have no reason to worry. Uh! Wait! Goto. The one who was giving you medicine. Uh... Tamaho-san! She disappeared. Universal control has shifted her. Does that mean the aliens got her? Probably. It's likely that everyone is being held there. Until this world comes to an end. Hero. Renya Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. He might be the same guy that Tamao-san gets her pills from. He might be the same guy th The lights in this era stay on at night. No need to carry a lantern around. The lights in this era- No need to carry a-
According to Natsuno-san, a boy named Renya Goto attends school in this era. He can apparently travel through time too. And BJ said he's from 80 years in the future. Could he be at the school? I don't care what it takes. I'm going to find him. And I'm going to get Chihiro back. Natsuno-san. Thanks, but I'm fine. In fact, I came here to find Renya Goto. But I have no idea what he looks like or how he dresses. Could you point him out to me? That might be a little tough. Goto-senpai has him in back on campus. I asked around, and no teacher knows where he lives. Well, that's a problem. Hmm. <sighs> Miwako! Done with practice already? Oh! You have that picture of Goto-senpai, right? The one you took when he wasn't looking? Uh, hey! Not so loud! Sorry, sorry. So do you have it? Yeah... Yes, this is it! Miura-kun! Look, I've got a picture of Goto-senpai! Pardon my interruption. He's the tall guy in the back. This here is Renya Goto? The one with the glasses? Yep, that's him. Thanks, Miwako. <sighs> How could this be? The man I saw at the park was Renya Goto. The bastard who kidnapped Chihiro. Chihiro? It really is you, isn't it? Please say something. I found this. It survived the air raid. I meant to give it back to you earlier. This is your favorite stuffed animal, isn't it? Big... Big brother! Don't lose it again, all right? I won't. 
Chihiro. It really is you. I'm so relieved you're safe. <laughs> I suppose it's true. It's not like my memories were displaced. My blissful dependency is your little sister. It's become part of my identity. Denial can cause enormous strain to one's psyche. Chihiro? Are you... okay? Better than okay. I've regained my original memories. I'm Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? You're the one who insisted on keeping that a secret. Yet you gave it away in the end. It's you. Sometimes a bold change in plans is necessary. You'd know that better than anyone. Wouldn't you, Goto-kun? I didn't expect to see you here. Renya Goto. What the hell did you do to Chihiro? <sighs> I don't appreciate the hostility. But what you see here is Chihiro in her original state. She was never your little sister to begin with. Shut up! I'm not listening to a word you say. I won't forgive you. And I will avenge Tamao-san. I believe you misunderstand the situation. Chihiro, listen to your big brother and come with me. We're going. Where, exactly? Back to 1945 where no one's left? Don't you see? It doesn't matter where we run. <laughs> if we have any hopes of preventing the loop, we need to prioritize gaining control over all systems. You've always been the dependable type. You used to be an excellent design engineer. What are you talking about? I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. That's what you told me. Remember? So please, cooperate. <sighs> Is everything prepared, Goto-kun? Already. Good. Then I shouldn't waste any more time. Let's hurry. Chihiro! <sighs> Don't even bother. Get out of my way. Chihiro is coming with me. She's being targeted for assassination. <laughs> and I highly doubt you have the capacity to protect her. What? Who would... Hey, Sekigahara. Should you decide to cooperate, let me know. <sighs> Sekigahara... Did he travel through time, too? Is that how he got here? Tamao-san. The military police are gone for now. How are things looking? They're searching for Kiriko-san. I can't believe she's a spy. They seem to think she's associated with him. He must have dragged her into this. I just don't understand. Why protect a wanted man? <sighs> that woman... Her name isn't Kiriko Doji. And she doesn't come from this world. You're a lunatic. I don't get it. What could she want with the Sentinel? You know about the Sentinel? You really are a spy. If she were to try and escape, she'd likely use the gate. If we leave now, we might be able to catch up to her. Sekigahara-san. Please, I have to know the truth. I was told that my parents aren't really my parents. And that... I was brought here from the future. Is that what Kiriko Doji told you? 
I don't know why she'd lie. But I think that explains the dreams I keep having. She's tampered with your memories. Uh. He's out of his mind. Don't listen to a word he says to Mao san We should just turn him in. Keitaro san, please. I don't want it to come to that. Keitaro? As in Keitaro Miura? How the hell do you know my name? I see. So it's you. What are you on about now? You and I have been fighting alongside each other. I've never seen you before in my life. The Miura of this era hasn't. The Miura of the future has. The future? Yes. He no longer has his physical body. His consciousness is currently stored inside a scout unit. Then... Keitaro-san is... One and the same. I've had enough of this nonsense! You, come with me! I'm taking you in! Don't move. Uh, Sekigahara-san! You bastard! Like you said, I'm out of my mind. Poison is coursing through my brain as we speak.
Aw, oh, jeez. You really gotta stop doing this. Buddy, you gotta stay quiet if we're gonna keep you hidden. Let's go. Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? Yeah, to know. Be gate. Sentinel number 17. Created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. His name is BJ. He's an alien that came from a highly civilized planet. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Let's go. I do feel bad locking you up in here, but I don't know where else to keep you safe. It's like I told you this morning. Sorry, BJ, but if I left you in my room, my brothers would come in. They'd be able to find you even if you were hiding. Once school's over, I'll help you find what you're looking for. You just gotta be a good boy until then, okay? or those men in black will find you. They really do seem to be everywhere. I'll come back during break. Just stay quiet until then, okay? So you're gonna be a good little alien, right? That means you gotta stay in there. I'm sorry I have to make you wait. But I'll be back soon. Yeah, you know. Shh. You gotta stay quiet or those men in black will find you. They really do seem to be everywhere. Again. Natsuno? Oh, hi.
on the floor. It's yours, right? Uh... Um... Why? You always put it in your locker. Oh, you saw, huh? What is it, anyways? A clock? Uh... Um, what it is, is... Uh, well... It's a... It's a secret. Oh, I get it. Another silly UFO thingamajig. Whatever. Just put it away before Senpai sees. <sighs> oh, boy.
She's gone now. raided by my little brothers pretty often. Either way, I can't leave BJ at home. As for the track room, no one goes in there until after school. If I put him in my locker, odds are no one would see him. about to be seen by someone. I'll just hide him in my PE bag. Crisis averted. <sighs> you don't have any idea, do you? What would happen if they found you? You'd end up in Area 51, dissected on a table. Hold it right there! <gasps> Crap! I'm going to need you to show me what's inside your bag. Hey! Hold it! 
hold it right there. He's still after me. What do I do? really sucks. <gasps> There's one over here, too. Hold it right there. My room gets raided either way. As for the tr if I put him in my... really sucks. Well, if it isn't Minami. Oh, God, Takun. What's up? I'm being chased by men in black suits. What? What'd they do? Nothing yet. But if they catch us, who knows? Section, maybe. Definitely a full body search. Full body? So those clothes will probably be in the way. Huh? You know, that little outfit. Outfit? You mean the spacesuit? Well, yeah. They take the whole thing off. I imagine they'll search every nook and cranny. For real? Those lucky mother. I mean. Those sick bastards! Don't worry. I'll take care of this perv. Huh? Hey! <gasps> you ain't getting away with this, asshole! <clears throat> what the? Where'd this guy come from? Never seen someone go down so easily. He came from over there. Oh, that was... something. Crap! He's coming! One of them is blocking the stairs. Someone was just here. Mm. The hell are you doing here? Yuki-chan? Good timing. I could really use your help. What now? We've been pursuing a suspicious individual. She's still in the area, and she's concealing something. If I just help him out now, maybe old Four Eyes will let me have my way. Fine. It's an SIU assignment anyway, right? That's why I was hired to go undercover in the first place. All you have to do is locate her. Leave the capture to us. So, what does she look like? <gasps> There's... no way! Is Yuki-chan... working with the men in black? Yuki-chan...
Aha. Senpai, what's going on? Minami, someone's trashed our room again. Also, watch this. Watch what exactly? Shh, stand over here, quietly. Watch the laundry basket. <laughs> Did you see that, Minami? Crap, this is bad. You know what I think this is? a spy camera from a peeping Tom. <sighs> it's the same creep that trashed this room. He must have set this up. I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. His name is BJ. He's an alien that came from a Harkis. Actually, this is... Uh... This is mine. Yours? Yeah, it's a... It's an alarm clock. A clock? My room gets raided by my little brothers pretty often. Either way, I can't leave BJ at home. As for the track room, no one goes in there until after school. If I put him in my locker, odds are no one would see him. Sentinel number created to fight against the tribe. It's also the rope. Secret agents rumored and silence that they call the men in black. I can't believe she's working with that means she can't she can't know about. BJ is about to be seen by someone. I'll just hide him in crisis of... So you just... carry it around? Yeah, well, the thing is, I... can't seem to tell time unless I look at this clock. Isn't it kinda... big? Careful. This is confidential information, after all. Hmm? You're going home dressed like that? Uh... 
Yeah, I'm just in a hurry, so... Okay, we're here. is all old and musty in my time, but it smells like fresh wood. They must have just built the place. This all feels like a dream. Check it out, BJ. It's my school in the past. You really can drift back and forth through time, can't you? Not you know. I know, I know. We have to be careful not to change anything in the past, or else we'll totally screw up the future. If we're 40 years in the past, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. I'd love to see that. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? There's something old to know. Man, okay. So, is the Sentinel here? I've detected a drone signal. An active sentinel is present. So, is the sentinel here? I've detected a drone signal. An active sentinel is... This is my classroom. The sign looks a little different, though. Someone's here. We've got to hide. Hmm. <sighs> Goto-san. Right on time. <gasps> 
Here's your pill supply for the month. Are these the same ones I had last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be honest with me. The pills you've been giving me, they let me see the future. But these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take them. And they make me forget what I've seen in my dreams. You must continue your treatment. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These don't feel like... Trust me. They'll help you revert to your original state. We're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait! I can't forget. It's our only hope of survival. It's no use. I can't remember. The weapon at Ayame Pass. No. I can't remember anything. Was that Goto-senpai? How's that even possible? How could he be here? Forty years in the past. Maybe it was his grandpa. Looked just like him. A sentinel at Ayame Pass. Huh? The place that woman mentioned. All right, Ayame Pass. Wait, you mean where the park is? There is no park in 1945. Let's go.
Try not to ditch me. Can't believe we're running around in a military base. What if they find us? So this is the Sentinel. It's huge. How does someone lose something so freaking big? The Sentinels are linked to the Shifter. It was shifted here. Crazy. Anyhow, I'm just glad we found it. This is Sentinel number 19. Sentinel number 17. Right. You said number 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel number 17. Number 19 belonged to his comrade. I cannot pilot his Sentinel. What happened to him? I have confirmed a cease in his vital functions. Do you mean... he's... here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 0800. <gasps> Someone's coming! I don't understand. Why is Professor Doji suspending operations? I know the Sentinel like the back of my hand. And I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform at full power. So, why... Alright, enough. I'm starting to sound like Takatoshi-san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, I'll be ready to lay down my life. And even if it never does, I'll still be ready. He's gonna fight too? Someone's coming from the other way. Jeez. It's been a while, number 19. Let's have a look at you. Huh. Well, 
It looks like an alternate route was successfully created. It actually worked. And on my second test subject, no less. Impressive, Keitaro Miura. Nanomachine reconstruction agitates the brain. But you endured the process without losing your mind. With this data, I'll be able to take over the Sentinels. Goodness, I should be on my way. Professor Doji's security detail will return any moment. As promised, I'll remove the lock on the Sentinel. And there's one more thing I'd like to do. Just for good measure. There we go. As long as they come into contact with Miorakun, the data should spread to the others. Was that guy? They should leave. Let's hurry. Yeah, you're right. We're here, BJ. Someone's coming! Quick, hide! I'm pleased the data is complete. I suppose negotiating with the professor was the right choice. The settings have been tampered with. Was someone just here? It seems this gate has been compromised as well. I'll set it back to its original key. I'd best take my leave. Use the gate? Is he an alien too? He changed the key. I can no longer shift. Seriously? We can't go home? Analysis will be complete in 78 hours and 24 minutes. I can't stay here that long. Can't we find another way back to the future? The gate and the sentinel are the only safe methods of shifting. The sentinel? What was that just now? Someone else is coming. If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in crisis of... from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. And Shihiro's probably worried about me. Shh. <laughs> State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you?
All right. <sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... It's weird. I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams. Except it's not exactly me. My name's Ida there. Just two people struggling to survive. Wonder if they're in love. This dream's probably way, way off in the future. Looked like it was in some kind of lab. Never figured she'd turn up. But that was her, Tomi Kisaragi. This dream's probably way, looked like it was in, never figured she'd, but that was her. My motorcycle's a Shikishima. I woke up late, but I've got it parked off in the, that way the school can't get on my. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. Huh, <laughs> who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. Man, she's cute. Bombshell like that, sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. This dream's probably looked like it never put that... Yuki-chan's supposed to be in Class 1A. No sign of her, though. see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Ugh. Ouch! Ow. Oh, it's you. Gotta make sure. I mean, I had this dream last night. I just had to make sure you actually had a belly. I'm sorry. What? Now you're calling me fat? What the hell is your problem? I saw her hanging there. Or half of her at any rate. Maybe it really was just a messed up dream. I already know what Karabe-kun would say. I gotta lay off the splatter flicks. <sighs> Such a skis ball. What's with this guy? <sighs> Karabe-kun might be waiting for me.
Kurabe-kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. Hey, Fuyusaka. You the only one here? Hi, Amiguchi-kun. Karabe-kun's not here, huh? I had this dream. It's bugging me. I kind of wanted to talk about it. How about you, Amiguchi-kun? Yeah, my dreams have been crazy lately, too. Do you see robots, too? No. Well, okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. robots well they were more like androids I mean you couldn't tell them apart from human beings and I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids I know that place I was there too in my dream the sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima or something that place is underground and I saw Usami-chan there, too. Tomi Kisaragi! Yeah, me too. It's gotta be the same place. Okay, so... Should work okay. Memory data is now ready. Thank you, Tamao-san. I really don't know what I'd do without you. Don't worry, Ida Kun. with her. I'm sorry I had to prioritize her. Don't worry. We'll get you a body too. Soon. I'm looking forward to it. Let's begin. Initializing composition. The simulated personality and memories have been synchronized. older brother? Hmm. Did he even have a brother? It is you. You look so... grown up. I'm sorry it took so long. It took eight years, even with the technology underground. Hmm? I, I can't move. She's having trouble understanding her situation. I will inhibit her emotions to avoid a panic attack. Ugh. Huh? 
What's happening? Please listen. Try to stay calm. I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. I found data for your old memories, your mind. And now I've transferred them into an android body. You mean I'm... I'm not... human? Am... I... Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. Hey, Saragi-san. You're like me now. An AI based on memory data. You are constructed to think and act just like her. To be Tomi Kisaragi. You're still you. Uh. Let me try to calm her directly. Could you connect us? Do what you can. Please. Sentinels, Itakun. The Sentinels we thought were complete aren't responding. The Sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D series. So it has to be the D code control holding them back. If we want to disrupt that function, well, we need someone compatible to maintain direct access. Something wrong? No. Is this a bad time? No, everything's fine now. She's calmed down. Really? Tony? What happened to the real me? Well... Please, be honest. Juro killed you. You... And the other kids. And I put him down. Damn it. That dream again. Man, what time is it? No way I'm getting back to sleep after that. So in that dream, my name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future, and Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. Huh. I've been seeing things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes, but Fuyusaka... Actually, now that I think about it, the Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. She kind of reminds me of Fuyusaka. today hello nothing to see here just a guy talking to his TV okay maybe I'm just going nuts no you're not I'm glad you talked to me there you are what is going on from the sounds of things this might still take a while What is going on? From the sounds of things, this might st Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else just wearing her face? There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. But whether this face is just a mask, it's hard to say. 
Sometimes a mask is all an idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. This is the only way I can communicate with you. I was blocked by universal control. The system denied me access. So I had to sneak in on this broadcast. Kinda over my head, but I guess the point is... You hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. More accurately, your ID is the only one I could locate. But even beyond that, I know I can depend on you. Okay, back up. You said something would take a while. What were you talking about? It will take a while to help you understand. Understand what? Our situation. <laughs> I'm being tracked. I'm cutting the connection for now. 